Hello, my name is Tony, and uh, my official YouTube channel is Secondhand Daisy. But I am part of a of this uh, video group uh, YouTube channel, and we like to call ourselves the Scummy Resellers because what we like to do on this channel is we like to brag about the things that we bought that were such amazing deals that we're going to make like a ridiculous amount of money for our, our general investment. Um, of course, today it's raining. I'm going to do this in the rain. I don't give a crap. Uh, nothing here is can really get messed up by the rain. And uh, I don't know. I guess this is how, how God punishes us scummy resellers. He makes it rain on us with all our stuff while we're at the flea market. So it's very annoying. Um, probably for our scummy reseller-ness. Anyway, um, today I'm going to talk about perfumes. I'm going to talk about nativity figures. And uh, booze for the hell of it. I'll start with the booze. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but if you like to drink you know and you don't have a lot of money you can go to um house sales estate sales uh sometimes yard and garage sales and sometimes they're selling the booze i got this smirnoff bottle of of vodka for only five dollars um they're really not supposed to be selling this stuff at, at sales but nobody really complains you know it's it's, it's uh they could potentially get in, in trouble but five bucks i got a bottle of vodka this will i don't drink a lot um but i do like vodka um, I like to mix it with cranberry and uh, a little bit of 7-Up. tastes pretty good. All right. Uh, let me teach you something about perfumes. Now, everything I have here, I'm not counting the vodka because it's not uh, for resale. That's for consumption. Everything I have here, I have $11 invested into. And I'm going to give you a rough uh, guesstimate on how much I'm going to make on this stuff. Uh, I think it's going to be at least about $200. Um, the perfumes. Now, these perfumes are, the bottles are in a little rough shape. Like, I'm going to toss out the caps and stuff. But I paid $6 for, for these perfumes, and I paid $5 for all the nativity figures in there. Uh, they're going to my buddy. Uh, his name is Video Gamer Daryl. Uh, there'll be a link to his channel at the end of this video. Also, another uh, fellow uh, scummy reseller who posts on this channel, his name is AJ, and uh, he posts on the name as ASAP Zonk. He mostly uh, specializes in clothes and video games as of late. Um, anyway, I like to mix it up. Perfumes, $6. This has got to be between $20 and $30 uh, for this bottle. It's pretty full. Uh, people will buy perfumes in, in this kind of condition. This bottle is beat to crap. I'm probably going to like remove that label because it looks like crud. I'll clean up the bottle a little bit. I don't think it's leaking. I mean, I smell it a little, but I don't smell it a lot. So I don't believe it's leaking. I think because it's raining, the bottle's wet, and that's why this looks wet. You know, if I just smush this around, you know, I'll clean it off, and I'll make sure it's not leaking. If it, if it is leaking, I'll put tape around it, whatever. Um, this is Primitive, and Primitive is Max Factor. Max Factor is a good name. So I'm going to say at least at least 20 bucks. Um, this is uh, Samsara. Guerlain is also a good name. This I'm going to say at the very least $20. This one I don't think is that much. I'm gonna say 15 for this. So we got like uh, 25, 25, 15. That's uh, 40 right here. Uh, 60, 80. And I could be wrong. Some of these perfumes might be worth a little bit more than I'm saying. Uh, maybe they're worth 25. Maybe they're worth uh, 30. You know, it's possible. So if I round this off to 20, that's 100 bucks, six dollar investment right there. I'm gonna put these in this box so they don't get any more wet and the labels don't fall off. I gotta clean these up and list them later for me they're very easy to list and i know how to ship them no big deal okay nativity figures now a lot of times you'll see old nativity figures most of them don't have a lot of value the big ones like say about eight inches or taller can be worth 10 20 30 40 dollars some of them even 100 if they're really big the ones that made are in italy or germany or something like that uh, these are pretty old and these are plaster uh, i'm not sure where these were made could could have been made anywhere where um, but I paid five dollars for this whole box and the thing about these is they're not super easy to sell but if you keep the price reasonable I'm gonna sneeze <coughs> I have allergies sorry about that um, seasonal stuff so anyway if you pick these up like a box of figures say you can even pay like a buck a piece and that's it and and if you don't at least get a dollar piece at the yard sales for, for nativity things like this, that's on you because these can easily be listed for like 10 bucks uh, a piece in general. Some of them more, 12, 15, whatever. But I'm going to say which shipping average price would be like $10. Now you go, well, $10, you're not getting to keep all that money. Now I'm going to deduct three. And I'm going to actually say, say each one of these is worth five bucks on eBay. Easy list, easy pack, couple of pictures, no big deal, right? So we have this nativity figure. 
and these are ch these are called chalkware. Okay. Um, see, a figure like this, even though this has damage, this should be worth more. Um, because this one is at least eight inches tall. You can see that. So I'm going to say five anyway. It has five, ten. Mary, fifteen. These are going to my buddy. Donkey. No Shrek. Twenty. Twenty-five. Again, these are not the creche or the paper mache ones that you would see. Um... Not the Italian ones. I don't know who makes these. 30. That one's in pretty good shape. Fragile these are, so you have to be careful with them. Uh, 35. And my advice on these is not to lot them. 40. So what I say? I, I figure at least 100 for the perfumes. 45. And I am being... I'm lowballing everything. 50. 55, at least in profit, 60, 65, and people will buy these individual because they need replacements. You'll always do better selling these uh, individually than you will in lots. Uh, what was I, 70, 70, this one's in good shape, so you know, that one would be, could, you could potentially get more. Look at this one. Here's another very large one, a wise man on a camel. You don't see these. Normally you see the smaller wise one. And look at the original price. 1947, first Christmas, 25 cents. Talk about inflation. Um, I don't know, 75? A cow, 80. Another cow, 85. 90. Now, I ain't saying this ain't a lot of work. 95. But it ain't that much work. And I'm just going to round these three sheep, these fuzzy sheep. We'll just call it 100 even. $11 investment. Uh, oh, forgot about baby Jesus. Baby Jesus. So I'm going to say 110. So uh, $11 investment. Um, Scummy resellers, that's what we do. We, we're, we're always hoping that you're too lazy, you don't want to deal with it. Uh, we can come to your yard sales and just buy your, all your stuff as cheap as possible so we can make money. Um, hey, none of us are rich. We're paying our bills. Uh, some people um, like to call us scummy resellers. So we're embracing uh, the fact of what we are. Anyway, if you want to see the entire video of what I got today, uh, because not everything was, is always an amazing great deal, right? Some things are, some things aren't. Uh, if you want to see everything I got today, check Secondhand Daisy. Uh, this will be part of my pickup, and I'll also show some live hunting in my videos. Goodbye for now.